It's a Virgo world for real. Play my name with send this bitch up. All this chrome, sticks like Tony. I'm finna bend this bitch up. Never been phony, you can't even stall me. I'm finna send this bitch up. Niggas seen L's before they could drink. You gotta get your shit up. Uh. It's only the guys begging the fives. No, we not linking it up. Mop with the ties, just to feel fries. Now Hi, what's up, guys? We're probably gonna go to Venice Beach, then Santa Monica Pier. I don't really know anything about California. We're gonna go with the boys, hit a workout on the beach. I think Shans is coming. Chow just flew in, so you're gonna see him. I had a delicious breakfast this morning of eight eggs, literally nothing else, so that's absolutely phenomenal. I just had a bubble tea pre workout. That shit was actually probably the best pre workout I've ever had. Please sponsor me. I will run that shit up, I swear to God. We've made it. No, we haven't. We're in a parking lot. We're about to hit Gold's Venice, the Mecca. Absolute bodybuilding. I don't know. It's just pretty sick. Hopefully they let the camera in. If they don't, we're fucked. I'm gonna have to record on my phone. That's not gonna be fun. But it's crazy being here in LA. So far, I'll give you guys like a quick overview. We've been to a few gyms around here. We ate at a few restaurants. Pretty nice. The food here compared to Canada, a lot better. I gotta say, the portions are just bigger. Like they're like American-sized meals. If you get what I mean. That's why you guys are so fat if you live in America. But I think we're gonna train some arms. We got some RP athletes with us as well. Tylation Project, Coach Yes. You know the vibes. Coach cameraman coming soon code for my cameraman so if you like the videos support the cameraman so he can get paid i do pay him but not very much so you feeling shoulders and arms or, or just arms you want to do arms arms i can't be seen hitting legs bro the legs are a little small but it is what it is i feel like every bodybuilder's dream get a sick physique get rich go to la train here that's just the gist of it arnold did it all the fucking golden era guys did it. it's just such a sick lifestyle like gym food sleep be not a care in the world. Nowadays, I gotta say LA, little rundown. A couple too many crackheads out here, but it is what it is. We're in Gold's Venice right now. Right off the bat, super rich with bodybuilding culture. Honestly, the music here is really fucking loud, so I don't know how much talking I'm gonna do, but yo, it's actually so sick. There's all these like pictures up, memorabilia of different people who've trained here. There's a lot of guys you could tell are like really into bodybuilding. A lot of guys who are bodybuilding size, a lot of guys who definitely used to bodybuilding and then came off and then they just come here because the, you know, it's part of the routine, they love it. So we're gonna be training arms. Probably the first thing we're gonna do is barbell bicep curls and uh, yeah, fucking train arms. Okay, I'm up, I'm wide awake. I see the phony and the fake. Niggas mad cause I get paid first. Call me down, see fuck rappers. I ain't had to fly her to me. Don't run down on Lil Kenzie. I keep big ass bitches with me. Run down on the game right now, all my niggas on go. Red dot with a five, five, six niggas keen on dubs. I got big bang, bro. <laughs> Look at this fucking guy, bro. Oh. <laughs> Thoughts on being the biggest guy here, even though you're you're natty, bro. Uh. <laughs> you're a pretty small guy, but like honestly, respect you for still overcoming being really, really small and like you know working out, bro. Thank you, bro. Yeah. Appreciate it, bro. It's good to see beginners like you in the gym, man. And I just want you to know, if you wear Retaliation Project, you will be the best dress in every situation. Bitches will be on you like white on rice, okay? So anyway, code CS, code cameraman, Retaliation Project. I'm ready to get mogged again. Look at this guy's forearms. Let me see that. Oh my god, I can't even I can't even pull it up, bro. Fuck. <laughs> How often do you train arms? Twice a week. Twice a week? Is that like through push pull or is that through like actually I follow like something more tailored towards my goals. I wanna get those 18 too. If yours are 17, I don't know if I got 17. You have a crazy shape though to them. Mine have like no shape. I can maybe out angle you if I do this. You got the height on you, bro. That's about it. <laughs> if you're tall, you look really big, right? When you're filled out and everything. But I would say you will never look as aesthetic as someone who's like a bit on the shorter side. I think there's a sweet spot. Five, eight to five, 10 is like the sweet spot. And that, coincidentally, most open pros are that height, right? You'll never have the proportions, like if you're taller. Like, fuck, I think of my arms, bro. I'm all I look like fucking Spongebob. If you really want to grow your arms, I think it's important to have a designated arm day because when you're doing push or pull or whatever and you have biceps, that's really not the main focus of the day and you'll be fatigued and you won't be able to hit your biceps or your triceps or whatever with maximum effort. You can't do something and expect it to be as good as if you put 110% effort into it. So have your push, pull legs, have a rest day, have like an arms and shoulder day or just an arms day. Your fucking arms will blow the fuck up. Oh, what this this is too easy for you, eh? You gotta use, you gotta use the hundreds. All right, let me know how many reps you do that. I'm gonna do one more. 11? All right, let me see if I can get 11. I don't know if I can, actually. 
Nice to meet you, man. Thank you for solving. I'm actually here filming a YouTube video. Yeah, that's dropped, yeah. Bro, oh, fuck. I've worn it, but do you want this? Yeah. Straight up, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. You're my height, you'll go into it. Thank you. Just make sure you fucking wash it, though. Lately, I've been doing mostly cable stuff for my triceps, but it's gold, you know. You gotta just use fucking old school shit. What I've been doing for tricep is the cross the body tricep extensions. It hits all parts of your tricep. Then I'll do dips or weighted dips, just because I feel like that's a really good strength building exercise. Then tricep rope, uh, tricep rope, fuck. Tricep rope, fuck, what's it called? tricep rope press downs i'll use two ropes so usually people use one rope and then when i'm at the bottom usually the range of motion stops for people here i'll extend all the way kind of a variation of what i was talking about with the two ropes on the tricep so this is like a specific attachment where it's combined but if your gym doesn't have this long rope you can take two of those smaller ropes and attach them and then what you do is you pull it down and then you have like essentially what this is if i'm here and i pull down oh fuck, that's all the way if I pull down, right, usually like the range of motion stops around here, but since the rope's longer, I can literally go like this and I'm like way further back. I'm like down here, which is like the full extension of your tricep. Jesus Christ. Bro, you actually have one of the most insane physiques I've seen in person. Thanks. That's fucked. How long have you been lifting again? 10 years. 10? Ten? 10 years, yeah. Well, bro, a lot of people who like want to hop on gear should just look at you because it's like, this is what 10 years of fucking working out looks like. Bro. You probably wouldn't have expected to look like Not this. Not at all. Like I'm looking at you and I'm like, Bro, I could have waited, man, to be honest. Train a couple years before you decide to do anything. So, 10 years of training, how long dieting, though? Because I know some people start dieting, like, later into training. I learned more about diet, like, three years in. Okay. first three years, I was just kind of eating whatever. Yeah. To get big. Just bulking and shit. You literally have most people's dream physique. So, it's like, you look like someone on sauce. Like, I would look at you and assume, like, yo, you're on shit. If you can achieve that physique in seven years, I swear to God, no one would take gear. But I'm telling you guys, you're, you're selling your genetic. Your exactly, like exactly. Your what I usually do when it comes to training arms is I'll do bicep and a tricep, like I alternate them. So I'm just getting like a full pump in my arms like the entire time. We're in downtown LA, of course, and Saturday night, right? We go to Uber home, $100. That's just not happening, quite frankly, so uh, we're walking. That's your ride, this is my ride. You can be Robin, because you're my son. I'm your daddy, bro. No, you're not. <laughs> Come on. You just outgrew me. You're like an inch taller, and you think you're my fucking dad, bro. Huh? You'll show me tonight? Whoa! All right, what if I want you to? What if I show you tonight? Why not? Because I'll do you. What if I do you, though? I have to see. See what? I'm obviously gonna do you better. You're not gonna outdo me. I'm the doer. I did your mom to make you, and now you're my son, and obviously I'm gonna do you too. We'll just do each other then, how about that? I'm down. Right. OG fucking Gold's Gym where Arnold trained. Why'd they close it? There was like a huge like gay for pay scandal going on there, so like they had to close it down because there's just like too much gay shit going in the change room. All the bodybuilders were just like getting sucked off in the change room, so they closed it. Honestly, like legendary spot though. So we've decided we're gonna make dinner. We're hungry boys, big boys. I'm a little wet, okay? So what had happened was a woman actually saw me wearing Retaliation Project Code CS, and of course, she, you, know, you know what happens to a woman when she's turned on, right? So I'm actually gonna change my shirt because I don't feel comfortable with someone's like bodily fluids all over me. Do we have rice anywhere? Okay, Shans, you wanna get that for me? I don't even know what the fuck it is. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Why are you opening it like that? <laughs> this is how we're looking on pans, boys. You get the chicken. I get the rice because I'm Asian, right? Okay. I was going to say that, but like I didn't want to, you know. Broccoli's in the freezer. I got the broccoli. You yeah. for certain bought broccoli. It's in the car, I think. <laughs> I, you. I, yo, I got the microwave. <laughs> I got the microwave. So this is what I'm going to do, Shams. Okay. Chicken breast. This is an onion, right? Holy yeah, fuck, that's the BS biggest onion, onion I've ever seen. <laughs> bro, it has white skin. All onions have white skin. Nah, what? New Zealand is brown. <laughs> if you want to make the best boneless wings, you put it on a plate and like, bro, let me show you the sauce real quick. Uh, Just right on the Oh, gun. that's too much. Yeah, we still haven't Dude, even cut no that. Way. Cause I can't love on birdies I'm in my private section Peace
peace out and her friends all came with me This long Taurus pistol on me ain't for violence, it's for Shan, have you done anything except fucking block the way? <laughs> <laughs> you do it like that? Why are you doing it like that? I usually just cut a thing of butter in it Oh, I'm just gonna be fucked <laughs> I've never seen someone do it like that. That's crazy. But use co code cameraman at checkout. Shan's secretly a pro. That's how they all do it. Yeah. Bro, you didn't wash your hands. I'll still eat it though, but yeah. it's fine. I don't know what it is. I just, just say it's all. It doesn't look like salt. <laughs> nah, yo, what are you doing? Is this how you cook normally? Yeah. Bro's going way too crazy on the onions. <laughs> Why would we need that many onions? Oh, you said half an onion. I didn't say half the onion, I said you're on the onion. Oh, I thought you said half the onion. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I'm not gonna lie, it's smelling pretty fucking good. Nah, it smells good, but I'm saying like the, with the onion, like what are we gonna do with it? Throw it in there, and hope yeah. for the best. On top of it? Or like, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. You're gonna fucking come when you eat bro. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it's honestly not looking that bad. If I was a starving homeless person, I might eat that. Try it. I'm, I fucking have to, or else I'm not eating tonight, so yeah. I'm gonna be leaking. I'm gonna be leaking. We're gonna be shitting my brains out after that. Yeah. It's like an ugly child, right? But they might be really smart, you never know. I'm not gonna judge it based yeah. on how they look. It's gonna be deceiving. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Ah, fuck. Yeah. But guys, you're forgetting about the best part. A lot of water. Oh, yeah. 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 Good, right? Yeah. Fucking fire, bro. After I think it's cooked, we'll take out the whole bread. We'll put it on a plate, we'll cut it and see if it's perfect. Why don't we just cut it now, so we don't have to like wait that long. The moment of truth. It's just gonna come out so juicy and it's gonna be white and little. Fuck. Oh. Yeah, it's so Almost. It's a little sketch. All right, throw it back on. <laughs> That's pretty good. It's pretty good. Nah, that. <laughs> yeah, so the chicken's cooked. Yeah, look, it came out perfect. <laughs> Bro, like you rub so much butter on that shit. Like bro, it just tastes more. like butter, bro. You put like half the stick of butter in and then you rubbed it with more butter. That's fucking good. Um, give it like an eight. An eight? That's all eight. That's crazy. Something that would blow me away would be like an eight. What do you rate it? A seven. Seven? A seven. Fair enough. I appreciate that for you, man. That was good. I love the creativity. You put the onions on it, like all of them. It brought out something I've never tasted before. So I'll say this, it was an experience. All right, guys, that's the video. We had a good time. We trained some arms. We had some some food. This is definitely food. Once again, Taliation Project. These guys all in the video were Taliation Project athletes. Super, super blessed that I can have a brand that you guys enjoy and it allows us to do cool stuff like this. So if you want, cop. Taliesha Project, code CS, and code cameraman. I'm giving my cameraman a code, so if you want my cameraman to make more money, because uh, I don't really pay him that much, you can do that. He would definitely appreciate it, as would I. Like and subscribe. See you guys in the next one. Don't run down on Lil Kizzy. I keep big ass blisters.